PL file. Okay, so now just I'm I'm going to create a kind of uh, invoice which will be printed on the screen. Uh, it it should be separate from the dashboard. It is just like a customized printable screen. Okay, uh, where you can print some invoices. So now I'm going to create here something. I'll just create. I'll make a chart. I'll make a straight table. Next, and here I'll choose the orders, order detail, order number, uh, order number, the customer number. I'll just choose customer uh, CST, customer name, the contact person, and then for uh, order. Then the order date and the total amount, date arrow of the order, customer phone number, um, customer contact number must be there, address is also there. So basically, in the bill invoice, the first header data which is printed, that is what I'm going to show you here. Uh, the contact number is contact okay. phone, I think. Something phone. Yeah. So these are all there. Net arrow is a measure. So I'll remove it. Customer uh, name promote and then order number. order date address and phone number okay so this is my header data of the uh, table name order number date just like the kyc information phone okay and then go next and then add the <coughs> order uh, total value <coughs> okay net amount Now next, next here I will show the first customer detail only. So there is an option called max number. Choose this one and then choose this as one. One only one record will be shown in this table. And there is an option called to change table orientation from vertical to horizontal. So if you just check this one, it would be horizontal. Okay. Now, let's see how the data is showing. Finish. It is a straight table object. Okay. Where the data uh, in normally in invoice, how it is shows? One is a header data which is shown vertically. One is a line item data which shows horizontally. This is how I made it here. So I will not show the total uh, in the expression. I will just remove the total. No total. The price. You see here. This is how the the first level of data shown in the presentation. Just make it uh, wrap the cell to like this. So this will be my line item data. So this is like you have selected only first record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have not selected uh, the first record. Uh, even if you select all, it will just take the first record. So, um, you know, um, my purpose is to show the data and whenever I will select a particular object or a particular pro, uh, uh, you know, uh, order number, that order number will be shown here.
So I just show them on the numeric on the left side. You see in the uh, this uh, invoice, it, this is something like so. And then I will create another uh, straight table where I will show the line item level detail. Line item level detail means order detail, the serial number. Serial number, quantity, sorry, uh, serial number, item description, unit, what is the unit, unit, and uh, in the this measure, you will have sum of quantity and sum of net amount. Another measure I will have net amount. Okay. So one is price and this one is quantity. Next, 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 next. So here we can apply the total, total and the not fast row and the last row. Uh, the label can be total <coughs> in the dimension I can just name it as SL number item name okay so this is become my table which shows the entire data of the order now I have to show a particular, I have to choose a particular order here. So in the, from this uh, list box, okay. So this is my basically a selection box, just assume, on which I will select and print. Okay. I will choose one. Now you see the customer name is this one, the customer name is Arif. Order number is this, date is this, address is this, phone number, total price, and thus against this particular customer, Mr. Arif. How many orders have been ordered? There are four items has been ordered. Okay. The items are so and so, and the unit is in numbers, packets, rolls, what it is this, price is this. So this particular price is the bifurcation of this total price. Make sense? Bifurcation. It's the total and this is the bifurcation of the total price. Now let's choose another uh, customer order number. You will see the different order number names and then different date, different order number and different price. Okay. So interesting it is looks like our uh, invoice. Now this thing can be every order. I'm sorry. Select multiple invoices. Mm -hmm. It will show, but I don't want to show this like this. I mean, I have, I am, I am anyhow, I will show one customer only so that I'll print one customer's data and then, and then I'll just give him as a you know invoice. Okay, it is showing, but I'm just allowing one item to be displayed here the first item only. Okay. So, so, on top, it's showing the first customer. Yeah. yeah. So all the yes. So uh, I've just chosen one uh, customer here, and then I wanted to print the uh, invoice of this customer. So from the dashboard, I cannot print this as a uh, invoice, a PDF. Can I print it? No. There is no such option. So I'll have to create a, a button, print button, which will give me the insight of the invoice printing. Print invoice. Okay, I'll have to choose this one and then then print invoice. You see, what I'll do? Go to report. Can I repeat what you can I, can I repeat what you select click just now? I just have added a, a button, nothing else. Uh, just a button I've added. Okay, okay. So in order to enable this button to be displayed as a printable form, I'll have to go to report and create a report. 
okay a report can be printed dashboard cannot be printed and it should not be printed properly as a uh, invoice so go to report there's in the main menu there's an option called report okay edit report here you can create list of the report which can be printed just like a pdf okay add a new invoice choose this one and then select this and edit you see it is just looking like a one document okay so can now, you show me again what you just <coughs> creating uh, a crystal report to create a report go to report edit report and here you have to add a new report in this screen invoice this is given the report name as invoice okay choose this one and then edit here when you edit we came here this screen is exactly look look like a word document okay it is despite of uh, you know of a dashboard which is a screen this looks like a a4 size printable format okay and here <coughs> you can drag this object and place it here normally okay you can drag this object and place it here and also this one you place it here this will look like a printable format and now here in the page option there is an option called page setting go here go to general these are all the print some properties you need to uh, work on like new image report settings margin you can set i want to change the margin header footer so header title you can define here okay header title can be say customer invoice copy or anything Invoice. Say so I just can name it. Okay. And the left side, I'll just take the image of the company logo. Image. Choose this one. Here is the option called image. Image. So this should be added here. Change. And whatever the image you want to show, and you show. And then okay, so image is placed here. And the right side, what is the appropriate location to add a date and time? Okay, so here you add a page total date. Okay, normally in the invoice you should have a dates. Date is there. Time it does not require. And the right side bottom here, I I can add something like a page number. Page number I have added. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this much I am going to add it. Now change. I am changing the font. Okay. So this has become my invoice. Right side we have a date. Left side we have a logo. On the top you have a title of this image. And here I can write something. This is a system generated uh, receipt, hence it does not require a signature. So yeah, I can add something like this. Uh, new text. I can make it transparent. I have defined I can just place it here
and something more I can add. Okay, so this become my invoice. Okay, which cannot be possible in the dashboard. Uh, it is become completely structured. Item settings. Okay. Here you okay. okay, now it is done. And this is okay. And go to report. Here my report name is what invoice. I'll go to edit report and in the report list I will see the ID of the report. Report name is something different, but ID is RP01. Okay, so I can add this RP01 report printing in the uh, in the report printing console. Okay, now print invoice. Right click. So far it is clear how I created a report. Yeah, yeah. I can just minimize it and this view is not required however it can be there so I have on the screen I have all the dashboards but I'll just take this as a my uh, you know something to print it okay this is given here this is something to be printed to give in the customer now go to property and action add print report if it is a report, it does not require the object ID or the seed ID, rather it's require the report ID, RP01. So it will call which report, the same report which we have created in the menu. So the print dialog. Now I can save it. I'm going to give the customer a particular copy. So this can be, this report can be anywhere. I can just copy this one. I can just copy this one. I can paste it here. Or I can paste it anywhere. Print report. That report is right there in the other screen. So click here. Now choose one and print invoice. You see the print preview. How it is? The logo. The header, <coughs> excuse me, the date, customer information, the order information, this heading, and this thing. Let's take another report. You will see the lot of items here. See, based on the selection of the report, which is 05, I can see. Five items and the total is absolutely matching with this the customer total. Okay. So now you can <coughs> take a print which will be printed in form of PDF or printed in form of A4 size. Normally from the dashboard it is not possible. This mechanism